Oops. That's not good. Yeah! Oh! Jeez. I hit it! You hit it. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be switching out this switch here with a dimmer switch. This is a really fancy dimmer switch. I got it off of Amazon. Maybe Sarah can put a link in the description below. But uh, this one can connect to your Amazon Alexa, which we don't have. So you can voice command this and it also has an app that you can connect to where you can control it with your phone or it has the manual settings just just by the touch here too so I'm going to show you how to install this see how it goes here and uh, this is our the room that this is in is our TV slash play room right now kind of doubling up and we just realized one day that it's annoying to have the lights on really bright when we're watching a show occasionally Warning, you could get shocked doing this. In fact, I'm going to have to turn on some lights because when I shut power off to this, I'm, I'm going to be in the dark down here. Just a couple screws to take this cover off. A couple more to get the plug out. So before you take this plug off and the cover off, you need to shut the power off to this area so that you don't get shocked. Which I'm already doing backwards, doing a little unsafe here. Because I know when I shut that off, I'm gonna run out of light and I don't have another light rigged up. When I get shocked here, you guys can learn from my mistake. I'm gonna have to shut off power though because I gotta dig into that to get the ground that's buried in there. I will be back with the light. Alright, so I'm gonna try and show you guys this. Power is off now. Now, a tool that would be really nice here to use that I don't have is a light tester to see if there's power in this. One of the main reasons you need that is you need to know which one is incoming power and which one is outgoing power through the plug here. But we're just going to gamble on that a little bit and switch it if we need to, if it's not working. So you have, they call this, I don't really know electrical very well by the way, but that's how easy this is, is you do not have to be a genius to do this. Um, you have a neutral wire. You have a line wire, your power, you have a load wire, and you have a ground wire. Okay, so there's my four wires. The white is your load wire. The two blacks is going to be your, your load and your line wire. But it's, it's your power, really, your in power coming in and your power coming back out. And then the copper or green wire is going to be your ground. And it's real simple. All you have to do is connect the right wires to the right wires. And then your switch works. This is a real simple, cheap tool. This is how you strip the wires. So these wire nuts are real simple. You just twist it, and it has some threads inside here that just squeeze all those wires together and hold them together. This kit, by the way, if you end up buying the same dimmer switch for ambiance, comes with all your wire nuts and everything you need. You would just need some tools. The tools you need is a flat-headed or a Phillips screwdriver, depending on on uh, maybe even both, depending on what's what's already there. You need some type of wire stripper and wire cutter. 
it really would be helpful again to have that uh, wire, t the, excuse me, the, yeah, the wire tester to check and see if there's power here. Um, and then that's really it on tools. And the main reason I've hired someone to do the electrical is because I just don't have a good grasp. I mean, it's super simple to change out a plug or to change out a light switch if the, if the one on there is old. I mean, typically it's just two or three wires you're connecting on there. You can't, can't hardly mess up. But when it's multiple switches controlling one room, one room's lights, that's just way over my head. All I'm trying to do now that I've made that connection is just push these wires back so I have room for my light to fit in this hole. Now my last part here is which wire is incoming power. I'm going to say it's this one because i got a bunch of other wires coming to here and I bet you that's outlets so that even when the light switch is off you got constant power there. So line is what you want to connect to that. And again, let me say that it, just in case it didn't make sense. So you have, if you can imagine, you have power coming in from your breaker box from outside of the house that has constant power to it. And uh, right now I have that shut off, <coughs> but the constant power then comes to the switch, which has an on off. It, it can cut power or turn on or can make the connection and send power on through. And the reason I'm choosing this one is because I have multiple wires coming to this one, which I am assuming are those outlets in this room, because they're gonna want constant power. You don't want when you shut off your light switch for them to lose power. So that's the logic behind that. We'll see if I'm right. There's been a couple times where I've been adding can lights or something and I'm not very good at, trip, at shutting off the breakers, but uh, I'll shut off the light switch to work on a can light, which does shut the power off, but Sarah not knowing will flip the switch or something and BAM! Big shower of sparks. Which side's up, which side's down on that? I don't even know. We'll find out here though. I'm gonna go turn power back on, we'll see what happens. Ooh, lights work. But I got it backwards. So, now we can dim these lights. Let me shut this off. Show you guys what I can do here. It doesn't dim as dark as I'd like, honestly. And then it has an on off. Turn on and shut off. Sweet. Now there's a little bit more to this. See how that's flashing red? This needs to sync with my Wi-Fi, I believe. And there's gonna be a step-by-step -step of how to do this that I haven't read yet. Oh, that's cool. So you can, like I was saying that that's not as dark as I'd like. You can apparently, oops, you can apparently go online once you get this all connected to your Wi-Fi and you can change the settings to make them darker or brighter in the different settings. This thing's pretty fancy. All right, I'm following some step-by-step -step instructions here. So now, with my phone, I can control the room. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have fun messing with the kids and Sarah while I'm at work, dimming the lights and stuff. It'd be funny to get a camera in here and watch their expressions as I dim the lights and stuff, or turn it on and off. Sweet. Well, let me finish mounting this to the wall here real quick. I'm gonna break this. Oh, there we go. So the cover plate normally has screws, this one just clips on. So 
So uh, again, some of the things that this can do is it can connect to an Amazon, you know, I forgot what it's called, Amazon Alexa. I think it can switch to some other stuff, maybe whatever the comparable of Apple and other products like that too. And then it has an app on your phone that you can control settings for if you're really lazy and you're sitting on the couch 10 feet away or you want to pull pranks on your kids while you're at work. Let's see if that will just click on there. Okay, and that's how you install this smart switch. And that'll be nice for movie time. If this was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton. And we'll keep sending out more content. I'm on KSL. <laughs> Stop messing with the lights. Why does it Just start cleaning. Okay, but why does it do that? <laughs> that is very funny. Oh, shoot, that just broke on me. This is a catastrophe. 